Breaking the myth. Can you end a sentence with a preposition? Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into an often confusing and controversial topic in the world of English grammar. Ending a sentence with a preposition. If you've ever heard it's incorrect or frowned upon, stick around because we'll debunk that myth and clear up the fog. Firstly, let's refresh our memories on what prepositions are. A preposition is a word that shows a relationship between two other words in a sentence, usually indicating location, direction, time, or manner. Common examples are in, on, at, from, to, and with. Historically, it was considered a grammatical error to end a sentence with a preposition. This rule originated from an attempt to apply Latin grammar rules to English. In Latin, prepositions cannot be at the end of sentences. However, English and Latin are different languages with unique grammatical structures. Today, most linguists agree that ending sentences with prepositions is not only common in everyday English but perfectly acceptable. This practice is widespread because it often makes sentences sound more natural. For example, consider the sentence, who are you going with? Trying to avoid ending with a preposition might result in a more awkward phrase like, with whom are you going? Despite the acceptability, some common misuses persist. The most typical one is adding unnecessary prepositions at the end of sentences. For instance, where are you at, would be better as, where are you? The preposition at is redundant. While it's generally acceptable to end a sentence with a preposition, there are cases where you should avoid it. Primarily, in formal writing or speech, it's usually best to avoid ending sentences with prepositions. Moreover, if the sentence makes complete sense without the final preposition, it's likely unnecessary. So, there you have it. You can indeed end a sentence with a preposition, and doing so often sounds more natural in conversational English. However, Remember to avoid redundancy and consider the formality of the situation. Keep practicing and experimenting with your sentences. Remember, language is a living entity that grows and adapts. We hope you found this video helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Keep learning, 